Hi guys, you might have seen the video where I put this rubber band powered car together with bits of Meccano and rubber band motor. I found that although it goes very nicely on the smooth floor here, when I took it out to try it outdoors, it struggled. It didn't go as fast as I was hoping and I had to use lots of rubber bands uh, I think it was a three layer um, rubber band motor to actually get it to move just using a single band like this although it spins the wheel when there's no um, load on it when you put it on the ground it doesn't even move I'll just wind that up and demonstrate but what I'm leading up to saying is I'm going to try and swap the gears over so we have a big gear on the axle and a small pinion gear like you usually see on electric motor drives. So we can have a, a small gear turning a big gear so that gives it more power. It'll have a slower top speed but it should accelerate using less power. So I'll just wind this one up a bit and demonstrate what I'm talking about. All right, we've got a fair few turns on there. So if I turn it over, yeah, we have to give it a bit of help to get it going. So we're going to see if we can cure that by swapping over those gears so they're the opposite way round. have to move this a bit otherwise the gap won't be right. There we go. Had to move the bracket a little bit so that we could use small gear, big gear. So we'll wind it up. Looks about the same as it was. Problem is, we don't get the distance, so we get the acceleration with far less rubber bands than we were using before. That's the sort of motor we were using before at least double thickness. I think I may even have put triple thickness on it. And we're moving the car with just single thickness. But we're not getting distance. I've given it a bit of lubrication and wound it up a little bit more. Okay, that looked good. Certainly going further. See if we can get it go straight this time. It's getting tight. Okay, try a straight run. I've just remembered the steering's adjustable on this one. Yeah, I've forgotten that. 
It's only a couple of weeks since I made it. Nearly there. Do we dare wind it up a little bit more? Oh, wheel spin. That's no good. Don't have to start adding weight to it. Hmm, I think we'd have done the distance then as well. Yep, that worked. So, far less power, change the gearing, and we're getting the distance. Summary time, what have we got? One of my previous episodes where we made a simple rubber band powered car using Meccano axles, wheels and gears. But when I made it, I put the big gear on the, uh, what do we call this one, the drive shaft I suppose and the smaller gear was on the axle. That meant we'd get good distance for less number of turns, but we needed more power to actually turn it. This way round, with the small gear on the drive shaft and the big gear on the axle, we need less power to get it going, but we don't get the same sort of distance. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was worth swapping them over and having a look. And, yeah, it just sort of proves the point. Small gear is a big gear. Lower power can turn a heavier weight. Big gear to small gear, the other way around. You need more power, but for the same number of turns, you'd get a greater distance. <laughs>